My name is Andre Powell. I'm an ASME member with uh, the State of Maryland so Social Service Employees Union. ASME represents the largest amount of state employees here in, in Maryland as public uh, service workers that are employed by the state. So I'm here today to march in solidarity with the public service workers in the state of Wisconsin. I feel it's important that we come out because while we have just signed a collective bargaining agreement here in the state of Maryland, the, they are still attempting to, uh, to, to, to change the way we determine our pensions here in the state of Maryland. Uh, I particularly feel a fondness for the public service workers in Wisconsin as an ASME member here in Maryland. Wisconsin is where ASME started back in the early 1970s. The uh, first union local for ASME was organized there. And now today we have 1.4 million ASME members all over the country. So it's only natural and right that I would support my ASME brothers and sisters, but not only them, but all public service employees, whether they're employed by a state, a county, a city, or, or a local, one of the small local towns. Uh, public service support and, and work that we do is so important. And as one of our favorite sayings is, and ask me, Maryland works because we do. Well, this country works because it's public service employees, whether it's state government, city government, or federal government. Now, most people believe that this financial crisis that we're in, the national financial crisis, the meltdown on Wall Street, was caused by these greedy predators on Wall Street, and yet they turn around and they're able to scapegoat public service employees. Is, is that what's going on at some larger level? Well, this attempt by Governor Walker in Wisconsin, he's trying to be the cheerleader. Uh, it's, it's a, to me, it's a test bill to see what would happen. It's part of the effort nationwide to bust unions, uh, to be able to bust a public employee union would, is, would be a tremendous victory for the anti-union forces around the country. And if it succeeds in Wisconsin, they're already trying the same thing in Ohio. I applaud those uh, Democratic legislatures in Wisconsin who have simply left the state and say we refuse to even discuss uh, such a ridiculous bill as this. And <clears throat> right now there is talk of Ohio and New Jersey even also trying the same thing. So we're standing not only for the workers in Wisconsin today, but we're standing for all public service employees, whether it's federal government, uh, which we already know. We remember what Ronald Reagan did to the PATCO strikers in, in the uh, 1981. 1981, breaking that union. So it's 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 this is this is the way to do to come out and show support not only for the folks in Wisconsin but support for ourselves and I'm very glad to see that community activists are here today. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of support in Wisconsin by the students and and that's going to be echoed all over the country. Thanks so much. Thank you. Here. Right. Uh, my name is Kermit Leibensperger. I'm a member of the uh, Montgomery uh, County Employees Union, Local 1994, uh, United Food and Commercial Workers. In fact, we just had a big rally on uh, Friday. Uh, two, three hundred people came out, and um, of course, in solidarity with the workers uh, who are trying to hold the line uh, in Wisconsin. But also, uh, we're in the midst of negotiations ourselves. And what's happening in Wisconsin, of course, um, is happening in New Jersey and Ohio and counties and, and states across the country. And frankly, um, what has to happen is wealthy people have to be taxed. The um, military budget and these ridiculous wars that we're in have to be stopped. There's plenty of money in this country. And what uh, the conservative element uh, is trying to do is they're trying to use this as an excuse to destroy the unions. They've taken factories overseas so that they can treat people like slaves. And frankly, bit by bit, piece by piece, 
they want to do the same thing to people here. Uh, they don't care about the ordinary working person, and, and this is uh, a very harsh attack. And frankly, you know, the unions uh, and the working people in general are not going to stand for it, so they better back off. That's all I can say, because we are going to defend our rights. We're not about to become, uh, you know, beggars on the streets. We're not about to send our children to work. Uh, and this is something that the unions have been pushing for all along with CAFTA and NAFTA that, uh, you know, Democratic and Republican administrations have ignored that you need child labor laws, environmental laws, public education, public libraries, and so forth uh, as part of any trade agreement. Because otherwise, these companies just leave. And that is the reason why, is that they've been allowed to leave by both, uh, in my opinion, both Republicans and Democrats. There are some Democrats who are friends of labor, uh, but um, there are many that, to my mind, they're just Republicans in sheep's clothing. From a historical perspective, going back to the 30s and, the, and, and building for collective bargaining rights, it looks like the people that the, the wire pull was in this country are turning the clock back. Yes, well, I agree. I mean, here, here's Wall Street causes the meltdown, and nothing happens to them. Right. They, they actually got bigger bonuses. Yeah. Let me tell you, wisdom from the lips of a child, okay? Uh, a friend of mine uh, works, or I should say works, past tense, for NASA. This guy's a brilliant engineer, okay? Laid off. Uh, I mean, you know what's happening to the, to the space program. Uh, unless it's military, they don't want to do it. They don't want to do the pure science anymore. They just, you know, want spy satellites all over the place. Well, he's laid off. The banks are getting a huge bailout, you know, the TARP money, trillions of dollars. And they're faced with losing their home. And the, the son says, Dad, why don't they give the money to us? Because the bank is going to get the money anyway. We're going to pay our, our house payment. But why aren't they giving it to us? Bring it. That's wisdom. Yeah. That is wisdom. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think I think. Okay, thanks so much. Uh, we're out here today to show our solidarity to the students and workers in Wisconsin who've been out protesting for the last week, demanding their rights to say no to union busting and to say that we stand in support of public service workers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Stephen, your mother is out there, Sharon Black. Yes, she is. She is actually in the Capitol in Madison, Wisconsin. She's been there for the last four days, and she's actually uh, spent the night in the Capitol and meeting and talking with people and showing solidarity to folks in Wisconsin. Uh, your protest today, it's not only the activist community, but I understand there are going to be union members here also. Yes. Yes, um, there's actually we have union members from AFSCME are, are here. There's also going to be a rally tomorrow um, down at the Annapolis at the, um, Lawyer Square. Um, and there's actions that are taking place all over the country. Today they're expecting the largest turnout in Wisconsin since it is a um, holiday. In your mind, uh, Stephen, what's the significance of this event in, in Madison, Wisconsin? What is this really all about, do you think? Well, I mean, I think it's basically um, people are responding to the attacks that have been taking place on working poor and working people, and that basically is a union-busting bill. But as people saw in Egypt, that when you actually rise up and then when you organize and when you demand your rights, that you can actually effectively uh, protect your rights or demand change. So I think people are finally waking up and understanding that they need to come together and come out in large numbers. Anything else, Steve? Uh, no, um, we'll be out here, um, just not today. We'll be out here other days um, to show our support whenever um, you know public service workers, or workers in general, need support, solidarity. We'll, we'll be out here. And I, I want to underscore for our audience this a rally tomorrow in Annapolis. Yes, at 12 noon. At Lawyer Square. Okay, thanks so much, Steve. You're welcome. Bye.